black rice bran has the nutrients you need for healthier skin. Now your skin can absorb all the nutrients it needs. Introducing Luby, an ampule that uses fermented black rice bran. What makes Luby special? Nanoparticles. This is a representation of the pores on your skin. The red balls represent Luby's nanoparticles. Luby nanoparticles are absorbed faster because they're under 500 nanometers in size, which is smaller than average pores. This means the nutrients in Luby can reach the deepest sublayers of your skin. Ultra rapid absorption. Let's see which flower petal absorbs moisture faster. We'll drop water on this petal and Luby ampule on the other. It's easy to see that Luby ampule absorbs faster than water. Luby absorbs quickly into your skin without any residue. This helps prevent outbreaks, irritation, and other skin problems. Antioxidants. Dip two slices of apple into an oxidative solution. Then place the slices on a plate to observe the oxidation process. Now we'll apply Luby ampule to one of the slices. Luby's antioxidant effects illustrate the high restoration effects of Luby's nutrients. Powerful antioxidants in Luby help slow the aging process, make your skin healthier, and prevent skin oxidation. Moisture retention. Start with a slice of sandwich bread. We'll apply Luby ampule to one side of the bread. Then toast the bread for a few minutes. The side with Luby retained more moisture and resisted drying out. Ceramides found in Luby's black rice bran lock in moisture, help prevent skin from drying out, and reduce wrinkles. The only choice for healthier skin. Luby, black rice bran ampule. Your new shoes look so good, but we all know good looks are rarely comfortable. And while foot pain can be a weight of word, walking home barefoot is never fun, nor safe. You don't need to carry me, but you can carry my shoes. That's where After Socks come in. After Socks give your feet the relief they need after a night of looking good. After Socks combine the boring flats you try to stuff in your bag with the cozy socks you wish you were wearing. With a barely there sole to cushion and protect your feet, paired with the comfiest socks you'll ever wear. After Socks are here to make the party and your feet feel better and last longer. Slip off your heels and slip on After Socks. So you're wondering how easy it is to take the aftershock with you? It fits easily in your clutch. Or you can put it in your back pocket. Or your friend's pocket. You can even use it as a padding.
or guys no don't do that with the aftershocks you'll definitely win the lego challenge now let's put it to the real test no oh, way walking home oh very nice so if you want to take off your shoes that's amazing that's a great invention it's pretty well every girl will buy this welcome okay and what's been the fun Slip off your heels, slip on your after socks. The rift has opened. The kingdom of Navar is under attack and the High King's forces are failing. Out of desperation, King Azorn offers his crown to whoever defeats the Maw. The four guilds of Navar come to his aid despite each guild's hatred of the others. Solgard has enforced its will through the use of the sword. Nightfang has lost themselves to the shadows. Gravereend has called upon the strength of the dead. And Spellstrike has sealed themselves off to study the arcane. War Rift is a competitive deck building game with a focus on cooperative player interaction. Players use their cards to slay monsters and earn more points than their opponents, but watch out. If players don't work together, they'll be overrun by the Maw and lose the game. War Rift brings a fresh mechanic to the genre in the form of the Rift. Pay the extra summoning cost or the card will be sent to the Rift, where it will be dealt out randomly at the end of the round. Don't worry, the card will be returned to your deck once it has been played. With all elements at play, War Rift creates a unique deck building experience fit for a king. Summon your guild, slay monsters, take the throne.
Introducing Kuzno, the future coffee table. Ever thought of a fridge that just sits beside you? It brings you not just fresh beer, but entertainment and convenience. This is Kuzno, more than just a handy fridge. Kuzno is designed for modern life. Open it. The sleek minimalist design fits perfectly in your sweet home. Hello Google, what's the weather? Kuzno is voice control ready with Google Home. Just hold your beer and tell Google to do whatever you want. The stereo system with six speakers offers an amazing hi-fi experience wherever you place Kuzno, and it is the ultimate eye-catcher. Not only the entertaining lifting fridge cabinet, but also the glowing light effect. Kuzno is also your smart home hub. The built-in wireless charging chip always keeps your phone and smart device charged. Kuzno also comes with a smartphone app controlling your fridge right in the palm of your hand. And you can also customize the lighting effect for all kinds of scenarios. Get a Kuzno. Upgrade your modern life. Ever wonder how clean your floors really are? You've tried the old school broom, the not so handy mop, maybe even a robot vacuum that promises a lot but delivers too little. Introducing Narwhal, the world's first self-cleaning robot vacuum and mop with the most advanced navigation. First off, Narwhal takes care of vacuuming up pretty much anything off your floors. But the magic actually starts with the mopping. Other robot cleaners that claim to mop only sweep the floor. Narwhal has reinvented the mop. It has rounded triangular mops that press down on the floor and rotate to really clean away those stubborn stains. Narwhal mops clean three times as efficiently versus other robot cleaners. Other robot cleaners clean the floor, and then you have to clean them. Defeats the purpose if you ask me. Narwhal is totally self clean it automatically returns to the base station to clean, wash, and dry itself multiple times during mopping. And when the mopping is done, Narwhal keeps the mop dry and clean with its ventilation system. Most robot cleaners require remapping every time you use them, but Narwhal's home layout map can be used repeatedly once created. The map is created with the help of LiDAR technology, you know, what they use in driverless cars, Narwhal also avoids secondary contamination by making sure it doesn't pass over the spaces it's already mopped. You can even customize its cleaning strategy for different rooms and floors, like choosing which rooms to clean, in which order, how many times to clean, the type of floor, and it creates cleaning reports for you after it's done cleaning. Narwhal is also ultra quiet. You'll almost forget it's there. With its awesome sweeping, vacuuming, and mopping tech, Narwhal will make you wish you'd found it sooner. Narwhal is built by a dedicated team of engineers and visionaries. I got the idea to build Narwhal when I saw my mom struggling with mopping housework every day. So I decided to build a robot to help her and everyone in the world. We hope you can support us. Hey guys, here with me is a set of Narvel robot, vacuum and mop. World's first self-cleaning robot. So um, in the next few minutes, we're, uh, I'm gonna unpack and show you how to work this. So first of all, unpacking. Well, as you can see, the packaging is pretty sophisticated. First out, of course, is our robot. And next is the hefty part, the base station. Let's take a look. In here is a drawer 
of accessories. Let's have a look what's inside. First of all, the user's manual. Next, this is the, the brush module. Another brush for cleaning the base station. A bottle of foamless detergent. Two mops. A pair of backup mops and a pair of backup brushes. Lastly, a roll of magnetic stripe. I'm going to show you how to use them later. Now let's take a closer look at the robot. Um, let's take off the protective stripe, open the lid, and here we have the dustbin. And there's something easily neglectable here. It's a little, a little brush to clean the dustbin. Let's put it back. And have a look at this. The base station. Again, we open the lid. We'll find two water tanks. The blue one is for clean water while the brown one is for wastewater. Inside this is our power cord. Okay, let's put it back for now and take a look here. In here we have the wash door. This is where the robot cleans the mop. Now, let's put it back. And that's pretty much um, everything about this set of robot mop and vacuum. Now let's set this thing up. First of all, we uh, hook it up with power. Now let's turn on the robot. But by long press the power button button here for two seconds. This ringtone tells you the robot is on. As the Rintel suggests, we need to connect the Wi-Fi to this robot. To do that, we need to have your smartphone installed with our Narvel app first. Long press both buttons here. Waiting for network configuration. Now, open your app on the phone. Your phone will connect it to your Wi-Fi and then you put in the password to your Wi-Fi and follow the instructions of the app to connect the robot to your Wi-Fi. We're going to have a separate tutorial to show you how to connect the device with Wi-Fi. Now that your robot is connected to your Wi-Fi, it's almost ready to work. But the last step, last step, is to install the brush module onto the robot. Press the home button on the base station to get the robot back into the base station. Recalling the robot. The robot has been recalled. Now the robot is ready. Hit the home button again 
The robot will exit. The robot is leaving the base station. Please keep the way clear. When the robot is back into the base station, long press the home key to start mapping your house. Mapping is started. As the robot maps out your house for the first time, it vacuums and sweeps as well. If you want to keep the robot away from certain areas, you could line around that area, like a rug, uh, with our magnetic stripe that comes with the robot, like this. Narwhal is capable of getting over obstacles as high as 0.6 inches. Now that the mapping and vacuuming is over, we're ready to mop. Uh, first of all, fill the blue tank with clean water. Make sure the water doesn't exact, exceed the max line. And get the, the robot, robot out. The base station. Please keep the way clear. Replace the brush module with the mops. You can see the rounded triangular mops rotate inward to clean the floor. Get the Recall robot back into the, the station. Press start to start mopping. Room cleaning has started. The robot gets out of the station to start mopping, it washes the mops first. As you can see on the little screen on the base station, the washing is in process. After washing the mops, Narwhal will return to its task automatically. The rotation speed of the mobs is quite fast, and there's a pressure added to it, so the cleaning effect is quite good. As the world's first self-cleaning robot mop and vacuum, Narvo knows when the mobs need to be cleaned and automatically goes back into the base station to clean them. After washing, the mops will be bone dry so they don't get too much water on your floor. You can also adjust the humidity level of the mops on our app to adapt to different types of floor. As it's working, you can press the start pause button to start pause it at any time, or press the home button to get it back into the station. Or you can long press this start pause button to end the task. You can also long press both buttons to lock up the keyboard. What significant role will industrial robots play in the future of smart manufacturing? Will them always be enormous in size and could be dangerous? How about reducing them 10 times smaller, so you are in touch with the enhancing future of manufacturing? Mirabolt is a six-axis mini-industrial robotic arm. Equipped with six stepper motors, Mirabolt can tilt, turn, and access more space than the three or four-axis robotic arms. Using trajectory planning algorithm, Mirabolt can follow paths and orientations specified by your program. Though much smaller than typical industrial robots, Mirabolt maintains high precision with a repeatability of 0.2 mm. It moves fast and smooth and is also stable and reliable, with much less trembling as compared to an RC servo robot arm. The makers are most excited about Mirabolt because it is open sourced, everyone can make Mirabolt even better. 
unlike running an industrial robot that requires complex operational skills, Mirrorbot is very easy to use. You can choose from three controlling methods. By simply connecting to a power source and linking to a controlling device, you can play Mirrorbot in just one minute. The Mirrorbot controller is similar to an industrial robot pendant that provides three control modes. The joint control mode, coordinate control mode, and teaching mode. The teaching mode is available in both controller and PC software. It allows you to record and replay complex motions. Using a PC, you can further adjust the motion parameters to achieve more complex tasks. How do you program the mirror boat? You can use Blockly, G-Code, and Python in the software. Or programming API by using C, C++, and Java. Try the drawing mode available in the PC software. Demonstrate anything you want Mirabout to draw, and it will immediately draw it for you. There are multiple handling tools and drawing tools for installation, such as Gripper, Suction Cup, Universal Gripper, Electromagnet, Pen Holder, and more. Mirabout's workspace can be further expanded by combining conveyor belts, rails, or mobile card. By adopting machine vision based on OpenMV, Mirabout can understand faces, colors, and shapes, and then perform appropriate actions. Mirabout is also versatile. It can be your artistic companion, sharing with you the joys of art creation. A fan of GoPro, capture something cool with Mirabout, so you can experience its dexterity and stability. With all of these functions and add-ons, you can now manufacture an exciting new world. You can place Mirabout into fantasy scenes and permit it to display your great ideas. Or you can use it to create something practical, such as assemble it into a production line that manufacture little chess pieces. Safe, compact, easy to use, and precise. This is Mirabolt, your first 6-axis mini-industrial robot arm.